Okay, so it's Tuesday morning. Sounds like we're docking, so I'm gonna go out here up on deck eight and see what it looks like in St. Thomas. There's all the taxis getting lined up, ready to pick people up and take them places, take them to some beaches, take them wherever they want to go, but most people are probably going to go to the beach or go downtown to Charlotte Amalia for shopping. All kinds of people out on their patios, admiring the beautiful views here in St. Thomas. Somebody's taking my yacht. Someone's taking my yacht. I didn't give them permission. Oh well. I'll let them have it for today. So we had a quick peek of St. Thomas. We're going to head up and get some breakfast here in a few minutes. dining room we're just waiting for our food to arrive we've ordered and now we wait so what did you what did you order again vanilla pound cake french toast with chocolate, dark chocolate syrup bacon and sausage and what did i get huevos rancheros sounds delicious doesn't it missy's gonna have some of it it's got a fried egg on top she loves fried eggs She would eat a whole bowl of just fried eggs if she could. Yeah. It's just kind of like chili on a tortilla. That's kind of what it looks like. So we just had breakfast at the Taste Dining Room. Missy, on the way back to our room, we're going to stop at Starbucks. Missy ordered a. What did you order? Starbucks. I got my toasted white mocha frappuccino with an extra two lumps of syrup. And you used your Starbucks, Starbucks gift, card. gift card. Wow. And I got a venti even though it's not on the menu. What? It's only seven fifty, I think. <laughs> which I've been paying like six at home, so. So we had breakfast at Taste. It was okay. It was, we prefer the uh, breakfast up at uh, Margaritaville actually better, so yeah. we'll probably go up there again. Before the week is over. It's only our second breakfast we've had on the trip. We thought we could try it out. Push us up to the internet cafe because we want to look up a few cruises because, you know, you always plan a cruise while you're on a cruise, so. We were talking about it at Transatlantic. Yeah, we're looking at the Encore for next, yeah. next November, so. For the maiden voyage. Maiden voyage from Southampton, England to yeah. Miami, so. We'll take, take a look at that. We'll look at that and we'll do more research on that when we get home. It's a possibility. So, it's a possibility. It's an option. So um, that's what we're looking at. So we're going to be heading out here shortly. We're going to go up to the spa, hang out at the spa for a little bit, and then, and then I'll probably go and use some water slides. Maybe we'll hang out on deck.
Oh, Stevie in here. You can't see anything. <laughs> it's so Stevie. Snow paradise, eh? Spent some of the morning in the Mandara Spa, and we went up to the pool deck. I used the uh, the Aqua Racer water slide. It was pretty fun. I'm gonna head out to the waterfront and find a place to relax. So we somehow lost our freestyle daily for today. Probably left it either at the restaurant or up on the pool deck. So that's why I'm headed to guest services to hopefully they have more copies. So that was Q Texas Smokehouse. It smelled pretty dang good. So we're not scheduled to go there at all, but uh, I don't know. So I did find a copy of the freestyle dailies. They had them at guest services. So I'm gonna head back to the room, get Missy and well, we'll be heading out for dinner here shortly. Lights are bright. Hello. 
Am I doing good? Am I doing good? All right, right. The lights are brighter for some reason. All right. There you go. Thank God. All right. My favorite thing about this cruise so far, I saw a kid at the soft serve machine with no ice cream cone. That's my favorite so far. That's my favorite. It's like, that's disgusting as shit. Go washy-washy right now. Go. Two dollars for round number one. Go ahead and show some appreciation and some support for your dancers. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Loser Lounge with me, Jackie Dang, all the way from Hong Kong. As you can see, we have our final couple over here and they do not look so happy. So uh, we're going to ask uh, Bianca, why don't you tell everybody what happened in the competition? Uh, you don't look so happy. You know, I think we did good, he danced good, I danced good, but somewhere in there we stopped communicating, I didn't understand what he was saying. I thought he was going to start back to he's Spanish, it didn't work. Oh, okay. Uh, Bianca, next time, just press one for English. <laughs> family and friends for giving him the opportunity because he is now where he belongs in the loser lounge because he is the biggest loser <laughs> but it's okay look, look, look Henry you are angry I'm also angry I, you know what I'm going to explain to everybody why we are so angry now not only you have put the number one Chinese superstar here in the loser lounge <laughs> Then you are kicked my Asian brother out of the competition. <laughs> Why do you hate all the Asian people? <laughs> we make everything nice and cheap for you. <laughs> this is so disrespectful, you know? I quit. Show the love and appreciation for your support. So nice round of applause for all of our dancers. Show the love for every single dancer here tonight. Doing a great job. My dear, come on over here. I need to go ahead and get those words from you for all your adoring fans. So we have our celebration cake that I'm going to try. We got yesterday. It's not our anniversary, but for some reason they thought it was. Missy says I'm probably not going to like it. Bad. It's not bad. I just okay. got a piece of pineapple. I don't think there's any fruit in it. I don't taste any fruit. Well, I hope it was pineapple. Otherwise, you know what it is? there was something weird in my cake. Take the pick. Like but... mm -hmm. It doesn't have a ton of flavor. It's better than the uh, carnival cake. Better than carnival's cake. <laughs> we had that like in 2012 or something like that. It was awful.